Tonight, a former Columbus police officer prepares to face a jury for the second time on charges of murder and manslaughter. Andrew Mitchell is accused in the shooting death of Donna Castleberry during a 2018 undercover prostitution sting. NBC4 investigates Jamie Ostroff covered Mitchell's first trial a year ago, which ended with a hung jury. Jamie? Yeah, in fact, Jennifer, it'll be a year ago this week when jurors told Judge David Young that they could not agree on a verdict on whether Andrew Mitchell used reasonable force when he shot Donna Castleberry. Judge Young declared a mistrial, essentially restarting a legal process that brings us to today, a year later, with the same attorneys selecting a new jury. Cameras are not allowed in the courtroom for jury selection, but I sat in as Andrew Mitchell's defense team and prosecutors questioned a new pool of potential jurors one by one. Taking the people they select will attempt to do what a previous jury could not, decide whether Mitchell is guilty of murder, manslaughter, or neither in the 2018 shooting death of 23-year-old Donna Castleberry. Mitchell was working undercover for the now-defunct vice unit at the time. He was arresting Castleberry in a car when she slashed him with a knife and he shot her. The question jurors struggled to answer in 2022 was whether that shooting was justified. After further deliberations, we remained unable to come to a uh, to a verdict. In my experience, it's something that nobody ever really wants to do. Robert Barnhart is a former prosecutor and defense attorney who now teaches law at Capital University. He's not involved with the Mitchell case, but has followed it closely. Barnhart says second trials are rare. And I've had a few cases with hung juries, and then we get right up to that next trial, and something always tips, you know, one side tips or the other tips, you know, your client says it's a little risky. It was close last time. And the prosecutor says, I don't really want to do this again. And you kind of meet in the middle. But in these kind of cases, that's uh, that that's really impossible. Adding to the complexity of a second trial, key evidence in the case from expert testimony about Mitchell's knife wound to an audio recording of the deadly encounter has already been presented and reported on. Barnhart said that can make seating the right jury especially tricky. It's really threading a needle, right? Because you want to find people who aren't predisposed to think a certain way because they know the outcome of the first trial. But then you're suspicious of people who have no idea what you're talking about because you also want people who are engaged in the community. Attorneys did ask the potential jurors if they had watched or read coverage of Mitchell's first trial. If they had, they were asked whether they had an opinion on it and whether they could set that opinion aside to focus on the evidence in this trial. I asked Mitchell's defense team and the prosecutor's office for comment on the case today. Both declined.